Hello and welcome to the Ads to List demo. This is your best friend in internet marketing, Cyril Jeet. And in this quick demo, I'm going to show you how powerful Ads to List is and how you can build a great list using Google Ads and Ads to List without a break. Let's get started by adding an autoresponder to Ads to List. So I'm going to go to the sidebar, click on the autoresponders button here. And I've got the autoresponders that I've added. I've added one sender account already and I'm gonna add a new autoresponder. Click on add autoresponder and you have a huge list of autoresponders to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and add my SendGrid account again. You're gonna need the API key for SendGrid so I will just go to SendGrid, click on create API and I can set it up in a moment. So I've set up my API key, create, not need to give it a name, I'll just call it test. So I've got my API key for SendGrid, I copied it, come back to Ads to List, paste it, and click on Authorize. So it's already authorized, and I can just sync my list by clicking on the Sync List button. I can see that it found four lists. So every autoresponder has its own unique system to authorize and to connect to, to Ads to List, and we have that inbuilt in Ads to List with separate authorization, the required authorization for each autoresponder. All you need to do is just follow the actions inside ads list and you will be good to go. And now that I've added my autoresponder, the second step is creating a lead form that will send the leads to the autoresponder. So go to the lead form section, click on add lead forms, give your lead form a name like my lead form or whatever you wanna call it. Click on add lead form and that's it, it's already done. Now go into campaigns, this is the final step. Click on add campaign. Give it a name like my lead form, hash two or whatever you want to call it. Then you need to collect the lead form. We just created my lead form. I connected it and then select the autoresponder that you want to work with. We already have integrated SendGrid. Then finally select the list that you want to send the leads to. Ads to list is automatically going to fetch all your lists from your autoresponder, show you them in a nice little box. You can just select the one that you want to work with. Finally, click on Add Campaigns. That's it, your campaign is created, and when you go to the Campaigns view again, you will see your new campaign right over here. And here you've got Copy Codes for Google Ads. Click on it, and you have your Google Ads webhook that you need to paste in. And now I'm gonna show you how to connect this to Google Ads and get your leads flowing. All right, so here I am in Google Ads, and I will just start off a new campaign. And this time I will select the objective leads because I want a lot of leads from Google. And then I will use the kind of campaign type I want. I'm gonna go with search for now. And finally, you want to reach your goal using lead form submissions. Click on that, click on continue. Now you've got a default name, let's call, let's let it be this, let's let it be. This. And then you can select your targeting, like just like usual, do your targeting, do your marketing, yeah, like usual, do your uh, work like usual, put in a budget, like I'm gonna put in a thousand rupees and put in your target CPA. It totally depends on the niche that you're targeting. It totally depends on the market that you're targeting. So I'm just gonna go with the defaults because this is a test campaign. Finally, I need to connect this ad to a lead form extension to a lead form and I can do that by clicking on new lead form extension. I have one there already, but I'm gonna create a new one. Click on new and then just put a call to action. You can select a call to action over here, like learn more, whatever you want. Put some text over here, sign up to get free access or whatever your call to action is. You can put the, you can choose from a list here too. Put a headline, then this is your lead form. Google is going to show you how the lead form is going to look. So just give your, give it your headline, get free access to my amazing course. To the course, you have to, of course, adhere to the requirements. Free IAM course, whatever I want to pitch, get your access by filling in the form below. And this form is actually going to be pre filled, so I'm just going to change this to submitting form below because Google is automatically for customer's name, the prospect's name and the email ID here. I don't have to 
get them to type it. And you know what happens when this sort of thing happens. People just sign up on an impulse. They just click on the submit button because all the information is right over there. And your opt-in rates really, really boost up. So we want the email and the name, but if you want, you can also ask for the phone number. So if you've got a local business and you want to call your leads, you can ask for your phone number, whatever you want, it's in your hands. Finally, you need to select a background image. I'm gonna just go for a default background image that I had there earlier. And this can be a company logo, this can be a product photo. In this case, it's a product photo and it's gonna be beautifully added to the top of your. So you can see the image is right over here. Finally, put in the description after the form is submitted. Thank you for signing up. And you can get them to visit a website. So if you want them to visit a particular URL, maybe you want to sell them something, maybe you want to direct them to a landing page, you can do that. And you can change the, the button code to claim your offer using the button below or you can pitch absolutely anything you want. And then this is where the magic happens, the lead delivery options. Without, without that list, this is your only option, download collected leads in an ad extension table. It's just a spreadsheet. You can do much with it because it's not going into your autoresponders and you're not, be, you're not gonna be able to mail them. But with ads to list, you can use Google's webhook option just go back to ads to list. We have created a campaign. You just show me, you just saw me do it. Click on Google ads webhook. This is your webhook URL, which is unique to your campaign. Come back to Google, paste it, go back to ads to list. You've got your key over here, copy the key, paste it, and click on send test data. Now Google is sending data to ads to list. And if this data is sent successfully, this mark will begin like your screen right now and you know that your lead form is working just save the campaign and you are good to go so my lead form is created my ad is running and if i go into my campaigns now hold on i just need to save and continue and my ad is published right now i can target my ad group name i can put in my keywords as usual whatever you want to do whatever the way you want to target you can do that i'm not going to go into that because that is not a part of this demo, but here back to this software, back to add to list, I'm gonna go into my lead form, you can see that I did get a test from Google. This is the Google, you know, this is the test record that Google sent us. And I can see that I did get it on today's date and our lead form is working, our system is working and the details are going into SendGrid. So I just went into my SendGrid account and I've got the list over here. I can see the test example is been fed into SendGrid and things are working just as they should. So guys, this is how easy it is to connect your autoresponder to Google Lead Gen and get your leads direct into your autoresponder from Google Ads and YouTube Ads.